Hello and welcome to Ninja Home Kitchen. I'm Adam Gertler. This is the show where I get to speak with celebrity chefs and exciting people in the food world. They're gonna tell me some of their favorite recipes. And then my challenge is to recreate those recipes using my Ninja Foodie products. Today's guest is a great one. She is a food writer, TV host, a chef. I'm so excited to welcome to the show Alejandra Ramos. Hey Adam, how are you? I'm so happy to be here. I'm in my Ninja home kitchen and you're in your home home kitchen. I'm in my home kitchen here in New York City. It's a tiny kitchen, but we've been making it work, doing lots of great cooking and fun shows, all from this little space right here. Did you grow up cooking always, or how did you kind of get into this world? When I was young, I always loved eating. I always loved food, and I especially loved dessert, but my mom never baked. So her rule was essentially, if you bake it or if you make it, you can have it. You mentioned desserts. You have a dessert rule, a very, very firm rule about dessert. I do have a very firm rule about it. Always order dessert. For me, dessert is obviously, it's delicious. It's sweet, it's, you know, it's, it's decadent. It's something that I can indulge in, but it's also a way of extending a moment. The time you get to spend with the people you're sharing with is longer if you're having dessert. It's a great philosophy. Now we get into the good part, which is what's my challenge? Woo, all right, so your challenge is actually, da da da, this gorgeous oh. arroz con leche flan. Wow, I picked up it was a flan, but it sounded like you said arroz con leche, which I'm not a completely fluent speaker, but I do believe that is rice with milk, rice pudding. Yes, it is. It's a rice pudding flan. So it is two spectacular Latin desserts combined into one. So this is my rice pudding flan. And it's not something that I created completely. A rice pudding flan is something that's actually enjoyed in Spain. It's creamy, it's lush. Uh, it's, I, think it's a, I think it's a winner. Now, water bath. Why do I want to cook it in a water bath? Why didn't I just put it in an, in an oven? So the water bath is all about controlling the temperature throughout the baking process. So it's almost kind of like a, the original sous vide cooking where you have that, that water that's maintaining the heat. I think I have a plan of attack now. Hear it, come on. Um, I'm gonna use the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker to both make the rice pudding and then I'm going to pressure cook the whole custard at once. So have you ever made a flan in a pressure cooker before? I have not ever made a flan in a pressure cooker before, but but I know that that is actually a really traditional way that a lot of like abuelas do it. Like I know Cuban abuelas and Puerto Rican abuelas love to- Cuban abuelas do it? Yeah, the Cuban abuelas use pressure cookers to make flan. So your instincts are perfect, sir. Okay. You're ready, you, you do it, bring it. <laughs> So the interesting thing about Alejandra's flan is that it's actually two recipes in one. We have rice pudding, and then we have the custard part of the flan. And so we're actually gonna make the rice pudding all at once. We're not gonna make the rice and then make it into the pudding. We're actually gonna save a lot of time with this step. Now, I like to make rice all the time in the foodie, and you know, different grains require a different ratio of water. For basmati rice, I use about one cup of water to one cup of rice four and a half cups of milk, got a half a cup of sugar, four cinnamon sticks, and I love this addition. I love the orange zest and the rice pudding. That's gonna be really fragrant. And I gotta make sure that the pressure valve is in the seal position, otherwise I'm gonna let out all that good steam, and I don't wanna do that. I'm on, I'm preheating. This is gonna take a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna cook the rice for about five minutes. Then we're gonna let it rest for 15 minutes. And that's gonna give it enough time to cook the rice, but then also absorb all the flavors from the cinnamon and the sugar. While that's cooking, I'm gonna to get to work on the caramel. So how do I make caramel sauce in my Ninja home kitchen? Well, obviously I'm gonna be using my Ninja Foodie Never Stick. Two and a half quart saucepan right here. Uh, I've been preheating it for about three or four minutes. When we're cooking a caramel sauce, we don't want a pan that's gonna spike in heat because then it could burn the sugar. We wanna melt the sugar and let it come into a beautiful caramel sauce in its own time. So I got one cup of sugar and I'm gonna go in dry. Oh, look at that, it starts to melt right away. But one of the pitfalls of making a caramel sauce is crystallization can occur if you stir it at the wrong time. But if you just swirl this pan around, this is pretty foolproof. 
right, then working pretty quickly, you wanna get that caramel sauce right into the pan. Shall we check on our rice pudding? I know you wanna check on the rice pudding. Are you curious? I'm curious. After the rice pudding mixture cooked under pressure, I let it naturally release. And I can see there's no pressure left here as I uh, adjust the pressure valve. So I release it, pull off the top, and look at that! It smells like the most delicious rice pudding imaginable. I could stop here. If I was just making arroz con leche, I would just pull this out, let it cool down, and I'm eating arroz con leche, and I'm happy about it. But that was not the challenge. The challenge was to make arroz con leche flan. And the best part of that, the coolest part, is yet to come. All right, so here's a little trick to cool this down quickly. I'm gonna transfer this mixture to a sheet pan. That is gonna allow it to cool down much, much faster. You can see, look at that. The nonstick surface in the foodie, everything just flies out of there. You can let this cool on the counter, or you can be like me and throw it in the freezer for about five minutes because I don't wanna keep Alejandro waiting too long. Now it's time to make the custard part of the arroz con leche flan. I'm gonna go four whole eggs, three egg yolks, kosher salt, gotta have some vanilla in there, and then heavy cream. Now you're, you might be thinking, really no sugar? But remember, we already have sugar in the rice pudding mixture and the caramel sauce, which is where a lot of the sweetness for the dessert comes from. And start. Now bring it together and I can kind of pick up the speed a little bit. And that's it. That is my custard. I have the chilled arroz con leche here. I pulled out the cinnamon sticks and the orange zest and now it's cool enough to combine with the custard. At this stage, the flan would normally be baked in the water bath in the oven, like Alejandro told me, but this is where we're gonna get really clever. And then I'm just gonna tightly put some heavy duty aluminum foil over the top. Now that is because we don't want any of the steam getting inside the custard. We're gonna cook with steam and pressure, but we don't want any other liquid getting in there, so. So I'm gonna lower my flan onto the cook and crisp plate. Assemble the pressure lid. Turn it on. And we're gonna do this one for 25 minutes. We have just finished pressure cooking our custard. We've let it naturally release. So now, what I wanna do now is take a peek at the custard and just make sure it's set. Right, that's a good jiggle. If it was really like wet and loose, that would mean that the custard's not done. And you're still fine if that happens. All you do is put the foil back on, put it back in the pressure cooker, and pressure cook it again for another five minutes, let it naturally release, and then you should be okay. But that looks great. Now, the hardest part of the recipe is this right here, meaning I can't eat this yet. I'm gonna let this cool on the counter for about an hour, then I'm gonna transfer this to the fridge, where it's gotta wait at least four hours, probably best overnight. And then will be the moment of truth when we will unmold this custard. How shall we pass the time while we wait for our custard to set? We're gonna make a cocktail that is also a sweet treat and I'm gonna use the Ninja Foodie Power Pitcher system to do so. The Ninja Foodie Power Pitcher system uses smart torque technology, which means that the blender is not going to stall and you're not going to have to shake the pitcher while you're making your drink. It's going to take care of it all, and we're going to do that using the Auto IQ smoothie function. The flan has been resting for about six hours and I feel like it's pretty set, but we have to release the caramel on the bottom because now that's too cold. So I've heated some water in the Ninja Foodi pressure cooker and I'm just gonna place the flan in the sling back in the water so that the water comes up about an inch on the sides of the pan. And that 
is going to release the caramel on the bottom. Then I'm going to take my silicone spatula and very carefully just go around the sides to release the flan and look at that. So the flan is turning, which makes me think at this point, the sugar should be melted enough. This is the moment of truth. This is, this is it. This is, this is the unmolding of the flan. Whoa! <laughs> that is a very satisfying sensation. <laughs> oh man! This is the magic of a flan. When you unmold it and you're just, you have this beautifully set custard swimming in a pool of caramel that was once a hard candy and now it's, it's just transformed into this beautiful liquid caramel. I think Alejandro's gonna be really proud of this. Pressure cooked to flan. All right, hey Alejandra. Hey there. Thank you so much for hanging out and waiting. I know what you're thinking. This is not a successful recreation of your flan. <laughs> but, but please, bear with me. I was actually embracing your life philosophy uh -huh. of always ordering dessert. I love and, that. And I felt that I was really hungry. I made the flan. It takes a while to set up, so I made myself a little cocktail in the meantime. All right, are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> All right, here you go. My flan! Oh my God, that is gorgeous! Did you already dig in? Well, I, I have a piece right here. <laughs> okay, I love it. I was hoping that you would join me. I, yeah, for a slice I feel of like, flan. well, I saw that. I was like, well, I gotta dig into mine too. I, I put a little whipped cream on mine. Is that legal? Absolutely. I love a garnish. I love an accessory, and I think whipped cream is the ultimate accessory. This is your life philosophy. We're extending the meal yeah. with dessert and we get to share together. It's amazing to me how sugar has absolutely no flavor and then you just almost burn it and it becomes the greatest tasting thing. It's spectacular and it's literally one ingredient. The way I attacked the issue of the water bath and saved a lot of time, mm -hmm. I put raw rice with the milk and the sugar and the orange zest all in my Ninja Foodi pressure Ooh. cooker at once. I love that. So I, I was able to just like make instant rice pudding Amazing. Um, and then when that cooled down, I mixed that in with the custard and I put everything in the pan and then I just sealed it up and pressure cooked it and, and it set the custard. I love that. I mean, you must have saved so much time too. It's like your instincts were just on point. <laughs> you are the ultimate Cuban abuela now. You're an honorary Cuban abuelita. Wow, <laughs> thank you so much. This was an incredible challenge and it was so great because I got to use so many of my awesome Ninja Foodie products. Um, so hopefully, if you'll have me, I'd love to have you back again sometime and you can give me another challenge. I would love that. I had so much fun here. I love seeing the way that you took this recipe and made it your own and brought those products in and just did an awesome job. Super impressed. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hang out again. Let's hang, let's cook, let's do this again. All right, and thank you so much for joining us on Ninja Home Kitchen. I have plenty of delicious things to eat. See you next time. <laughs>